How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. This right here is the LumoPal 60 watt portable solar panel. It's about the size of a book when you fold it up, measuring at just nine inches by 11 inches and two and a half inches thick. This is something I would rather carry around than those tiny little portable solar power banks. This by itself does not have batteries and yet it's powerful enough to charge two or three phones at the same time. I reviewed some of these portable power stations and the solar cell on it. It's about this big. In order to charge a phone fully with just solar power with one of those things. You actually have to leave it out in full sun for about two or three days just for one full charge. This one being 60 watts, depending on the lighting conditions, you can charge your phone at full power and it's gonna get filled up within an hour or two. Let me unbox this and show you what's included and also do some charge tests. LumoPal. The entire thing weighs about four pounds. This is a 60 watt solar panel with six pieces to it. It has a convenient carry handle and we can unbuckle it right here. It's actually bigger than my table. So one, two, three, four, five, six. There's one, two, three, four holes in the corner. And there's also four hooks at these locations. There's a zippered pocket for all the accessories. Here's a user manual, 5.5 millimeter outer diameter and 2.1 millimeter inner diameter. It comes with a set of five adapters for more compatibility. Each one of these plugs to the end of the 5221 cable. Towards one side, there are all these ports you can access. You have two USB-A ports, a USB-C and a DC5521 port. Plug the cable here and we can use the other side to charge a power station. It comes with a USB-C cable and this will allow you to charge your USB-C devices. It comes with four of these Velcro straps so you can tie this to the corners and strap it to whatever you need to. Solar cells are pretty interesting. The sun hits it and it generates electricity. When you take a look at a solar panel, you can see a lot of silver lines running through it. The more silver lines, the better, because when the sun hits each part of the solar cell, it eventually needs to travel through the solar cell into one of these wires and it can eventually be connected to charge something. So if you have just one of these silver lines over here, the sun hitting on the edges have to travel all the way through this solar cell all the way to the center. So when you have one, two, three, four, five, six of them, it actually reduces the amount of travel these electrons need to go before it hits a metallic line. This improves efficiency and this particular one is 23.5% efficient, which is pretty high in terms of commercial solar cells. In total, you see 12 strips going all the way down here and you can estimate the voltage of one of these panels. Each of these cells is about 0.5 to 0.6 volts. So let's just call it 0.5 times 12, it means this is six volts total. The specification says it's about an 18 volt solar cell. Since we have six of these, it's most likely they connect three of these in series for 18 volts, and then they put two of these together in parallel. I have a typical 100 watt panel here. The 100 watt one is four panels, but this LumoPal one is six panels, but somehow they're able to make it relatively thin. So when you pack it all together, it's still roughly the same thickness. There's some added thickness over here for all the accessories though. All things considered, this is much more packable. You can stick this in a backpack, whereas this one you cannot. It's around noontime right now, so we should get pretty strong sun out of this 60 watt solar panel. 60 watts is the theoretical maximum. If you get really strong sun directly into the solar panel, then yes, you'll get 60 watts. But in most cases, there might be clouds. This might not be angled properly directly at the sun. So realistically, you might estimate, you might get like 45 to 50 watts or so. Let's adjust this until we get the maximum and see how much power we get. The sun is almost directly overhead, but if you want to maximize the amount of solar you get, go ahead and tilt the solar panel and look at the shadow. The bigger a shadow that you have, the more solar you're gonna collect. So at the beginning, it's right here. If I lift it up, it comes kind of like over here and it's pretty maximized from here all the way to here. So there's a little bit of leeway on the maximum. In order to get it to this angle, I'm just gonna put this box underneath. LED is on, we'll plug in the solar. This is a direct connection to the solar panels. Now we're getting 39 watts, so this is pretty much the maximum that we'll get for today. Let's test these USB-A ports to see how much current it can deliver. I have a load tester here we can connect it to. At zero load, it's giving five volts, which is what you expect out of USB. 
we can go all the way up to three and a half amps even. It's capable of around 15, 16 watts of power out of these USB-A ports. Three eight, it's probably a little bit too much for it. So anything less than three and a half amps, it's okay. We also have a power delivery USB-C port here. I'm gonna connect it to my tester to see the voltage it gives out. It's putting out 18.2 volts at 1.9 amps for a total of 35 watts. 39 watts is the maximum that you can get right now from the sun with with this solar panel. However, if you go through the USB-C port, it needs to do a voltage conversion and that uses up a little bit of energy. So that's why it went from 39 watts down to 35. Therefore, if you have a choice, like in this power station, you can go directly into the PV port instead of going into the USB-C port. I was able to get about 18 watts out of these, but USB-C quick charge can actually go up to 12 volts. You have two of them and they can go up to 22 watts each. If you plug more than one quick charge here, you might hit the maximum at that point it's just going to charge at whatever amount the solar panel will give you portability wise you can use this by itself without bringing a battery with you this makes things a lot lighter so you just have to make sure you charge when there's sun out i had a bunch of these 100 watt fabric type solar panels you know the portable kind where you just unfold it and put it outside what i can tell you is that the uv is very harsh on the fabric it tends to remove all the dyes and becomes a little whitish on the top and it becomes a little bit crusty. At the end of the six months, it was still working. It folded up fine. However, the panels do warp slightly after extensive use. 60 watts of solar panel, definitely a lot more portable than the 100 watt type. You know, they sell these with a battery included sometimes. And I think it's a matter of preference if you wanna carry a battery with you. With one, it's kind of nice because you can just leave the entire thing in the sun by itself, you don't have to leave the electronics with it to charge. And let's say you need to go out and then come back and then you can use the stored energy in the battery. If you guys are interested in this LumoPile 60 watt portable solar panel, check out my affiliate link down in the video description below. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time.